down. Let's take it down. Let's big reveal. So yes, I still have my my hair is still long. Some people say it's longer, others say it's not growing. I'm others. So what we're going through right now, all of those short pieces that I showed y'all in my box spray video, box spray video, you can watch right here. All of those locks are now not with us. So let me show y'all what's going on. So all of these locks in the front are gone. Like short, they broke off. Yes, I was sad. Yes, I'm over it now. Because now I just feel like it's just things in your life that you have to let go. And I really think that job, that job was really taking my shit out. I had to tie my shit up every day. And I was just so stressed out and I was just so sad. And I just don't do my hair. And I just was sad, y'all. And y'all know Texas heat is dry. And I'm from Mississippi. So we have um, water in the air. So water in this air. And there's a lot of chemicals in there, water. So I lost all of these. But I'm, I'm living with it now. I got like a little face frame situation going on. But let me show y'all because your girl, this is why we're here. This is why we're here. I got a plan for the next week ones. So these are some in the front that are still here. Still long. But let me tell you, they're not supposed to be long. That's the trick that I have to show y'all. These, these are still long, but they're not supposed to be because they were thinning too, but I caught them. So let's get into it. So I got this little braid thing going on here. It's keeping it going strong, like strong. So I don't have my crochet needle in here with me. Oh, let's go check this way. I have it. This is how we gonna um this how we gonna focus the camera. Gonna focus on the on Victoria's secret back there. Okay. So who wouldn't want to make 75000 a year? Nobody, right? But I do hair, I make videos, I take pictures, I'm damn near six feet tall, I model, like I have things going for me. So I just don't want to rely completely. I just don't want to rely completely on a business, on on, so, on something so big to take care of me. Like I would rather work at somebody's veterinary office, somebody's hair shop, and make enough to live because I could make the rest on my own. You know what I'm saying? Doing hair on my own, doing other stuff on my own. Like that's that's all this YouTube is gonna be about for the next like three months. Like just doing stuff on my own, trying to get it together, trying to trying to find a good life. Because when I had the other job, all I wanted to do was just go outside, y'all. Let's go for a walk. I had no motivation to do anything. And I paint I didn't want to paint. I didn't want to do anything. And I wanted to skate. I've learned. I've been learning how to skate, y'all. And I'm pretty good at it. And I can take y'all y'all me too. But I've been learning how to skate. And I just be wanting to go and just feel free. My body was just so sore. My hands were so sore and cut up. Like, I hated it. If y'all want more details about this, then. Nah! If y'all want more details about this, I could tell y'all. But right now, I don't know if y'all care. And I hate wasting my breath. So. I just want to let everybody know if you're in a job situation that you don't like and you're just there for the money, find a passion, find God, and chase that because that's what I'm doing. So if you want to be with me, then chase your passion, find a passion, chase your passion. If you want to be here, find a passion, chase your passion. We're only here for a little time. We're here for a good time, not a long time. I know y'all heard that. So all this. I need a hundred thousand dollars by. I need twenty. I need a house by. Uh, I'm done with that. I'm. Done. I need to be happy today. I need to be happy tomorrow. I need to be happy. Okay, today and tomorrow. That's where we at right here. I need to be happy today. What I need to do today to be happy? 
What I need to do today to make tomorrow happy. You know what I'm saying? Like what I need to do right now to make myself happy. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. Call it what you want. But your girl is using Marley here, okay? So let me show y'all how we doing this. How we how we fixing the weak spots. Because Marley hair looks just like natural hair. Y'all know this, let me. For the people that don't know. Okay, well this isn't exactly Marley hair. This is Cuban twist. This is Cuban twist hair. It's basically the same as Marley hair. If you ever got like Marley twist or anything. It's just a natural... Like it looks like natural hair. That's what we're going for. You don't need a lot. I've been using this hair for a minute. Like a, a minute. I look a bum. I know my face is breaking out of everything, but we're just gonna work with it. So let's go in and find a weak lock because it's plenty of them. Most of them is on my edges. This is our weak anyways, but look at that. Look at that. Found one. I found one. So it doesn't look terrible. Like it actually got a little strength behind it because a lot of these have zero strength. Oh, let me see if I got any other ones in dire need. Okay, so I done fixed this one too, y'all. It's a lot of them in here that I just fixed. And you can barely tell. Like you can see the braid, but you don't know what's real going on. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was going for. You can see the braid, but you don't know. It just looked like I interlocked. You know what I'm saying? It just looked like I interlocked, basically. Like, there's no, all of these three have been fixed. But it's no obvious um repair. It's not obvious. And I don't like using a crochet needle to like, do this all the time because it can damage your hair too. Like I was, I was just thinking about it. Like you just study snatching. Everybody not doing this correctly. They snatch the needle all the way out, and then the lock is gonna get weak right there. Like it's just fixed for now. I promise. But I don't see any more bad ones because I have been catching all of them, and I've been trying to save one for the camera because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So you just take the hair, and I promise you only need a couple strings because think about it. It's only you're only missing a couple strings. So I just take out small little string of hair and I usually don't need this much. So I'm just going to break that off. So you got this much, which is still too much because as you can see, what we're working with, it's not that long of a weak spot. It's easy to break. You don't need scissors because this is synthetic. So. Let's get up close and personal. Okay. I don't want my face in here, but I guess. So it's basically like putting box braids or feeding in without too much work. So I just take this and I go up a little bit higher than where the actual weak spot is. Let's go up higher so you can have something to like hang on to. Because if, if you start on the weak spot, then it's gonna break easier because it's heavier on the weak spot. So we're gonna use this part of the lock to like keep it strong so you have something to hang on to so we're gonna start from the back i always start from the back i wrap please excuse my nails oh my god i always wrap it around the back like this so i can like get a real good grip on it and then you just braid and i braid by bringing everything to the center if you don't know how to braid i'm not the one to teach you because it, we're too we're too ahead in times for you not to know how to braid, but you can watch me. So just bring the strands to the middle and treat the lock like the third strand. So once you pass the weak spot, pass the weak spot, I don't know where my nose ring is, y'all. Once you pass the weak spot, you just keep going a little bit more until you get down to a point where you feel like you're grasping 
the big bridal lock. And I like to keep this tight, y'all, because if it look loose, it's, it's pretty noticeable when it's loose. But don't do it extremely tight, but it's noticeable when it's loose. But as you can see, we got way too much hair. So we're just gonna braid a little bit more. So now we're down here to where we need to stop. We got a lot of extra hair. So I'm just gonna take these two pieces and put them together now and then wrap it a little bit. And then we're gonna break this off. Cause we don't need all that. And we just got this. And we're just gonna wrap this. Wrap it kind of tight because you don't want it to be noticeable. Just creep. Just wrap it. Then you're gonna have these straight pieces right here. And they're straight because I pulled it and I and I broke it with my hand. But, but if you wanna keep it all curly, then just break it with your scissors. So we're gonna stick the crochet needle through the lock. See that? We're grabbing the synthetic hair. And we're just gonna pull it through the lock. And we're gonna do it again in a different spot. Let's come down a little bit. See the synthetic hair. I hope y'all can see, but you just put the, do it again. Do it until you ain't got no straight pieces. It's okay if you twist the lock around and, and crochet it in the, in the other direction too, because I feel like that actually helps it stay together. It's almost like braiding. Then once you see like one or two strings, you can go in and cut the sides, cut it off the sides. But I don't really care because it's a lock. So this one is done. It still has a slight weak spot, but it's not completely noticeable like it was. And I'm, I have faith in it. It's not gonna break. That's how I repair my locks now. And this is how they look now. How long they are. Yeah, it's been a long time, but they're almost basically in my goal length. So, I've been struggling trying to get a routine going with the moisturizing my locks since, since this water isn't the best for me. Uh, I still put water in my hair every now and then, but I try to use bottled water or purified water or something. I've been using the aloe vera plant purified water. Let me know some tips down there if y'all got anything. Uh, I'm using an aloe vera plant, like the natural leaf that you get at the produce section. And then I put it in my spray bottle. But y'all, the smell after like a week, oh my God. Whoo. Whoo. Smell like ass and feet. But yeah, I stopped using it because it stinks. I just bought this for a moisturizer. But right now... I just, um, like when I just had my other job, I didn't have no time to really moisturize my hair like I wanted to. And this smells so fucking good. It feels good. It smells good. It feels good on my skin, y'all. That's how I know. That's how I know. I make sure I wash my, get my ends real good because as you can see, I did dye my hair even though I said I never would, but I dyed it um, a couple years ago and it's brown from like here to here. And I think I lost a lot of this dye, like a lot of this hair that was dyed because I knew better. I'm not dying it no more in my life, I promise. But yeah. So I just sprayed this on here till it feel kind of damp. After I put my leave-in in, I put, I've been using avocado oil. So I'm just gonna put that on top of it. I really feel like your edges are supposed to be short because my edges have been hurting for a long time. And now they feel way better now that they're gone. <laughs> that is my moisture routine and that is how I fix my damaged locks. Um, I hope this helped y'all. It's been helping me because I feel like I would have a full full mullet by now if I didn't come up with that um, solution. I didn't see it nowhere so I decided to put it out there myself. Did nobody give me the advice or anything. I just kind of I just kind of figured it out because 
use my hair a lot when I do people's hair that are natural and want to keep the natural look so I use Marley hair a lot so I was just like might as well I know I already did box braids on here but I think about doing twist y'all like some red Marley hair twist and I think it'll be so cute and I'll do that on here for y'all so y'all can see you know I look very Carefree because I don't have anything on my lip gloss or anything saw in my character But I'm glad that y'all stopped by to watch me again And I promise I'm gonna keep it consistent this time. I have no other obligations I know I say that every single time I come back. I know but I don't have any obligations now. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Give me any advice that y'all have about leave-ins, about um, moisturize, natural moisturizers, and just your routine and what you use and what you do to keep your locks healthy. Let me know if this was helpful, if you've seen it anywhere, because I hadn't seen it anywhere. If you have any advice that you want to give me, I am completely open because I need it. <laughs> I will be grateful. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. So y'all, this is Nanala. Hey, Nanala. No. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, Nanala. Okay, that's Nanala. Bye.